Great. Overslept again. <laughs> Almost forgot today was the day. Two years ago today, my brother Kiyotaka disappeared. I'm going to pursue the mystery of the Blade Children, he said. And with those words, he vanished without a trace. Oh no, are you okay? Come on, young lady, say something. Hello? Talk about dangerous. Gargoyle's missing. Did you do this? Did you push her off there? Thanks for coming, Assistant Inspector. Enough talk. Let's hear it. Yes, ma'am. Uh, the injured girl's a second-year student at Tsukiyomi Academy, Sayoko Shiranagatani. She fell from a fifth-floor landing, broken guardrail. We're looking into that. Oddly enough, the delivery truck parked below her acted more as a cushion than anything, so her injuries aren't severe. But we won't be able to question her for a bit. She's pretty freaked out. Is it an accident, suicide, or attempted murder? We can't rule anything out yet. No, Wataya. Given the situation, I doubt this was a suicide. Why do you say that? Notice anything strange about those glasses over there? Hmm. Well, if I was a high school girl, I'd probably think they looked lame. That's not what I mean. People who take their own lives generally care about their appearance before they die. A girl her age literally wouldn't be caught dead wearing glasses like those. How do you know? Um, maybe she was just weird and liked the way they looked on her. Open your eyes and tell me if she's wearing them in her school ID. This girl doesn't normally wear her glasses. She only puts them on if she has to. You're right. Wouldn't be the first time. Now start using your brain, detective. Sorry. Professor Sonobe, with your skilled educator's eye, do you believe you saw the freshman student Ayumu Narumi commit this horrid crime? As one of the teachers here, I don't want to place blame on anyone. But I did see young Mr. Narumi. Standing exactly where Sayoko fell from. Yeah, I witnessed testimony, folks! How do you feel about these accusations? I already told you once I didn't do it. Besides, what kind of an idiot would try to kill someone by pushing them onto a truck parked not 50 feet below? Only today, the truck just happened to be parked there. Any other day, any other time, it would have been a straight shot right to the pavement. Care to explain this exciting new development in the story, Ayumu? I don't have to explain anything to you. You look like you have something more to say. Yeah, who are you anyway? I am a sophomore at the Tsukiyomi Academy, 3-9 grade point average and head of the school newspaper, Hiyono Iwasaki! Enough, young lady. It's my job to question the witnesses here, not yours. This is from Professor Sonobe's sworn testimony. Actually, I just transferred to this school a few days ago, so I've taken to exploring the campus during my lunch. As I turned the corner, I heard a girl scream. Naturally, I looked around to see what was happening. Then I saw her fall, with the guardrail in tow. Everything froze for a moment. When she hit the ground, instinctively, I went to help her. Then I looked up and saw Mr. Narumi standing there. He didn't seem to rush to help. That's his statement, word for word. It makes you nervous. I'm trained to see this sort of thing. Now tell me again, what were you doing up on that roof, boy? Like I said before, I was taking a nap. I got up, and as I was headed back downstairs, I heard someone scream, so I checked to see what it was all about. Don't like it? That's your problem. <laughs> Inspector, he obviously did it! Calm down. 